In today's episode, I am going to share to you how we started the Montessori approach and what, what were our Montessori practices when Kara was still an infant. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you have watched our first episode, you will know that I made mention about the core principle of the Montessori method. Now, if you haven't watched it yet, you can click the card above or you can click the link in the description box below. Now, today, I am going to share to you how we started our Montessori journey and what were our Montessori practices when Kara was still an infant, meaning from when Kara was still a newborn up to 11 months old. We started the Montessori approach at home without even realizing that we were already starting one. Kara was still six weeks old when I was just looking for a nice mobile to put in Kara's crib and I came across the Montessori mobile series. And I find it very interesting. You know, I don't know with you guys, but for me, nakalakhan ko na that other people will use mobile sa mga crib ng baby to promote sleep. Others pa nga would use the battery operated ones which they will just turn it on and mag play na siya ng lullabies, right? So, in the Montessori mobile series, it's different. Uh, iba yung role niya at uh, iba yung function niya. Uh, the Montessori mobile is there to stimulate the baby. That is why you will put it there when the baby is completely or when the baby is fully awake and you have to remove it when you observe that the baby is already sleepy. And that's how it works. And with further research about the Montessori Mobile series, knowing about the Montessori method, that is when I started to fall in love with the Montessori method. And until now, we're still practicing the Montessori method at home. So what were the Montessori ways that we adapt or practice at home when Kara was still in fact? mobile series. Uh, I was observing Kara. If tuto nga ba yung mag-increase na, na mag-increase yung concentration ng baby. And true enough, talagang nag-increase siya. At first, it started with only 10 seconds. I will put the mobile in Kara's crib. And then Kara will look at it so focused for about, at first, 10 seconds. Nag-time talaga ako. 10 seconds. And then the next is nag increase na siya 30 seconds, tapos nag one minute na. And then par, uh, every day lang, ganun lang yung, yung ginagawa namin. We just put the mobile when she's fully awake and remove it when she's sleepy. Gradually, nag increase yung concentration na until such time na umabot talaga kami ng 13 minutes. Naka, nakatutok lang siya dun sa mobile na yun. So, that's how we, we we use the mobile series. Aside from the Montessori mobile series, we also put the Montessori low wall mirror. It promotes visual tracking and concentration. And aside from that, it helps coordinate movement as well. It also allows the child to visually map the room. You have to take note that it doesn't have to be in the infant's room. Uh, it will it, you can place it anywhere where you can always use it Next is the pull-up bar. Uh, this is very good for a newly mobile child It helps maintain a standing position according to the child's capability Other moms 
they will really buy the materials, the Montessori mobiles, and all those things. But for us at that time, hindi pa kasi ako ganun ka connected sa Montessori community. So I was having a hard time looking for materials. And especially here in, in Cagayan de Oro, it's so difficult to look for a seller. So we have to DIY. I am so happy na anjan talaga si Jairo because siya yung crafty sa aming dalawa. Siya yung crafty. And then uh, he was the one who really made it. Talagang ginawa niya meticulously yung mobile ni Tara. The next thing is a very important practice in the Montessori approach. Is is that it is the use of the walker wagon. Now the Montessori method encourages mommies and adults to let the child use the walker wagon instead of the traditional walkers. Why? Because putting the child in the traditional walkers forces them to walk even if their body is not ready yet. So with walker wagon, it is the baby, it is the baby's initiative to push, to stand, and to walk at her own will and sure enough that the baby is ready already. With traditional walkers, development-wise, it is not appropriate because it might be that you are forcing the baby to walk even if she's not ready yet. Walker wagon provide an opportunity for the child to pull up and practice walking at her own wheel. And it is the child who will decide if she's ready or not. Also, it boosts self-confidence and freedom of movement. So, using traditional walkers um, will put the child in a very unnatural position because they restrict that in movement and um, they cannot stop when they want to. So, um, that might cause problem later on. It was also during infancy that we introduced the use of wooden puzzles. Uh, you know the basic ones, yung circles, triangles, and square. Uh, na may solid primary colors, yung red, blue, and yellow. So that's how we started our Montessori journey. And those were the things that we uh, practice at home. So um, they say that it's easier to start when the baby's still a newborn. But you can start anytime, even if toddler na yung baby nyo. Or um, maybe just a little decluttering of toys na... Um, Ma evaluate niya if this is Montessori or not. So what's really what's important lang naman is to follow the core principles of the Montessori method. So not necessarily buying all the stuff, but uh, maybe uh, a little DIY or um, kung mahirap talaga then that's the time that you will buy. But not necessarily you will buy everything at once. And what is also important is to involve and follow the child. Babalik talaga tayo sa core principles ng Maria Montessori method. Uh, if you already have so many toys and uh, wala pa talagang time ang declutter and ang hirap pa talaga ilag go ng mga battery operated toys, then just let it stay there and your child can play with it uh, during their free play, right? And maybe uh, more readings and research about the Montessori method para talagang um, must in depth yung understanding na and mara recommend ka talaga na book na to start with is yung the absorbent mind uh, this is a very good book na basahin nyo para mas maintindihan nyo if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit that notification bell icon beside the subscribe button so you won't miss my next video once again this is Mela thank you so much for watching see you around guys Bye.